Hello friends, I'm Pastor Richard Archlow of the Trinity Faith Church of the Armed Virgin. I invite you to join me here each and every Sunday where we praise His name, where we conspire to obstruct civil rights, plot the death of physicians, and keep the science needed to end the needless suffering of thousands from moving forward, because to believe in Him means to suffer. Join us as we rejoice a vengeful God who throughout history has slaughtered millions. Even today, He sends the faithful out to the heartlands to do His work. And all we have to do is denounce it or say He's crazy. Remember, all we ask is for 10% of your family's gross yearly income. Why do we need so much money, you may wonder? Ammunition is expensive. So please, join us here each Sunday. If the world's 12,000 years old and the Bible covers it, why didn't someone bring up fucking dinosaurs? you think someone would have brought that up somewhere in the goddamn book. And Jesus and the disciples walked down the path towards Nazareth. But oh, the trail was blocked by a giant brontosaurus with a splinter in his paw. And the disciples did run a screaming, what a big fucking lizard lord. I'm sure going to mention this in my book, said Luke. Well, I'm sure going to mention it in my book, said Matthew. I'm not sure what I saw, said Thomas. <laughs> Timothy nudged him. It was a big fucking lizard, Thomas. But Jesus was unafraid. And he took the splinter from the brontosaurus paw. And the brontosaurus became his friend. And Jesus sent him to Scotland, where he lived in a lock, oh, so many years, attracting fat American families with their fat fucking dollars to look for the Loch Ness Monster. And oh, the Scots did praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They worry about our science in their school. They want their religion taught in the schools. And this is where I lose the atheists. Um, personally, I'm okay with teaching both theories. Let them into the schools, and, and they can teach Adam and Eve, and the garden, and the apple, the talking snake, as long as they also teach that it's a big, complex universe that sits on the back of a giant turtle who's <laughs> walking through space. Come on, the Hindus got a right to their theory too, huh? Be fair, Christians. I gotta warn you: two naked people, piece of fruit, garden, giant freaking space turtle. <laughs> really want that fight? <laughs> I know some kids. Think they're going for the turtle? Sex sells. Sex sells. Are Christians going to use that? <laughs> so Adam and Eve were in the garden, and they were naked. <laughs> they were really, really naked. I don't think they're that desperate yet. Come on, these are the fig leaf people. Give me a break. If you want to fight the whole religion in school thing, beat them by joining them, you know? Get down there and say, yes, I want religion fully represented in school. Pledge of Allegiance, One Nation Under God, Allah, Vishnu, Krishna, Vishnu, Krishna, Mazda, Hanuman, <laughs> Thor, Odin, Cthulhu, Bob, Flying Spaghetti Monster.
Today at school, my teacher said we evolved from other animals. That's not true, is it? Of course not, Stephen. We were created by monkey God in his monkey image. But how do we know for sure God's a monkey? Well, do you think God throws his own poop and enjoys jumping up and down in place? Yeah. And do you think when he's eating bananas, he periodically stops chewing and looks around with an angry expression to make sure no one's plotting to steal them? Yeah. And do you think his ass is slightly less hairy than the rest of his body? Yeah. Then there's your answer, champ. Okay, but how do we know God really loves us? Because his son died for our sins. Monkey Jesus could have ripped off the Romans' arms and masturbated all over their bodies, but he chose love instead. And I think that makes him pretty darn special. Cool. Thanks, Dad. How's our son doing? He's gonna be okay, Paula. He's gonna be okay. The Tower of Babel. Well, it may have had a rocky start, stupid Adam and Eve, but creating life on Earth has been a complete success. Even though you had to wipe them all out with a global flood and start over again. Would have thought you'd seen that one coming. And don't think I've forgotten that you two were having sex with the humans. You're both still grounded. Aww. Yep. Everything's gonna be just... What the hell that I haven't created yet? Oh no, they didn't! What's wrong, Father? The humans! They're building some kind of tower! Um... so? I don't like the looks of it. It's just another stupid building. Regardless, I think I'll go down there and have a look-see. <sighs> he never listens. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. Hmm, there's that word again. Builded. Good job, people! Construct that tower! <coughs> Greetings, fellow human being! Um, hi. I am a human just like you, and I was wondering... What's with that tower? Uh, we're building a tower that will reach into the heavens. What?! <coughs> I mean, interesting. Go on. Yeah. It's going to make a name for ourselves. Why, you?! I, I, I mean, uh, ex excuse me, I, uh, I must go discharge feces from my body. Okay. Oh my me! Remember that tower I was suspicious about? Um, yeah. They're building it to reach up here. <laughs> Good luck with that. We've got to stop them! Wait, what? It's not like they could actually ever get up here. Behold, the people is one. Is one? And they all have one language. So? So? If they can work together to construct this tower, then what's next? Science? Medicine? Public schools? The internet? Uh, I think you may be overreacting just a teensy bit. I could confuse their language so they can't understand each other. Maybe you should think this out more. Silence! I'm the decider! Say in crumpets, mate. Uh, why aren't you two working? Say in crumpets, governor. What? Pero que demonios te pasa, híjole? Huh? Oi! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is this a joke? We can't communicate with each other. Then we can't finish this tower. Why, Lord? Why? <laughs> oh, I'm so smart. Right. So now, in the future, when the Bible's written, it'll have to be translated into all these different languages, huh? I don't see a problem with that. It's not like anything will get lost in translation. You know, giving cartoonists something to mock one day. Mm-hmm. Both of you go to your rooms right now! And no TV! Aww. Well, time to destroy this silly building with a strong gust of... Huh. It, um, fell on its own. Oh well. Dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum. -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum.